Hi dear students, welcome back to my YouTube channel Roots of Biology. In this channel, I am teaching biology for both CBSE and ICC syllabus, uh, especially for the class 8th, 9th as well as 10th standard students. So in our previous class, I was discussing about uh, the very important lesson for class 10th CBSE that is life processes. Today let us discuss about another important chapter that is uh, for class 10 CBSC that is chapter 7 control and coordination so I think it is quite interesting lesson you all will enjoy this lesson because uh, while explaining also I will be very happy I think while listening it will be very quite interesting for you to understand uh, about this now let us try to understand what is this control and coordination come let us discuss about this now uh, my question for you is, do we sleep every day? Yes, of course, we used to sleep every day, right? Unless uh, we have some important event or some examination coming up. That time we used to work hard more. Uh, we will keep our sleep aside. Or else we used to take sleep, a very sound sleep always, right? But how do we sleep? How do we fall asleep? So does our brain shut down once we are asleep? Do you ever think about that? So please give your work to your mind now. So let us discuss about this. So we are we are able to react as soon as we dip our finger into hot cup of tea, right? So if we touch any hot object, we used to suddenly uh, we withdraw our hand, right? So how are we able to change the paths while walking when we hear a car from honk? So if we hear the sound, definitely we'll crash, right? So your answer to all this question is that animals have a system which is responsible for all this sudden response to the stimulus. So this particular system is called nervous system. So that is what we are going to discuss in this chapter that is control and coordination. Come let us move on to the next slide. Now let us discuss about this control and coordination animals. Okay, so how it will occur in animals? Let us discuss one by one. Uh, for that, try to understand receptors. What is these receptors? These receptors, these are specialized tips of the nerve fibers. So it is mainly helpful to collect the information. It has to be conducted by the nerve. Okay, so that is the major function of these receptors. So what are receptors? Are the sense organs of the animals. So we, these are classified into following types. The first one is phonoreceptors. So where it is present? It is mainly present in our ear. So function of this is it is helpful for hearing and balance of the body that is the major function of this and the second one is photoreceptor so where it is present photo the it is mainly present in height okay so it is mainly responsible for visual stimulus sometimes we used to feel like to see a different things around us so these sensation it is mainly occur through this receptor so the next one is thermoreceptor it is mainly present in the skin so this receptor function is it is responsible for pain suppose if you get any pain am i right it immediately will react for that so it is that is the major function of these receptors and uh, suppose if it touch any object uh, these are the heat it gets stimuli there and we will react for that so these receptors are also known as thermoreceptors which is followed by olfactory receptors so it is mainly present in the nose so what is the function of this it is helpful to receive different smells it is helpful to receive smells so that is a major function of this let us move on to the next one that is gustatory receptors it is mainly present in the tongue so function it is helpful to taste detection so we used to taste different things like some uh, food substances might be sweet some might be sour some might be uh, bitter so like that uh, some might be spicy so like this these are the sensation it is mainly occurred by these receptors which is present in our body let us move on to the next slide now let us try to understand about the very important one that is nervous system so what is this nervous system then so these are the specialized tissue where it is present so it is mainly present in our body right these are the specialized tissue these are called 
nervous tissue so nerve cell it is also called as neurons okay i hope you got it children so it is the functional unit of nervous system so neuron is the structural as well as the functional unit of nervous system uh, it is a nervous system which is mainly responsible for the control and coordination in the complex animals like human beings got it so what is the function of this nervous system then so the major function is it is helpful to receive information from the environment so that is the major function it is helpful to receive the information from the environment to receive the information from the various body parts and also it is helpful to act according to our muscles as well as glands so that is the major function of this nervous system so now let us try to understand about this neuron so neuron is a structural as well as the functional unit of nervous system i hope you got it so nervous system is very important for whatever the things we are doing in our day to day life like we used to get up we used to think we used to learn we used to study we are going here and there so whatever we are doing so because of this nervous system now let us discuss about this nervous system that is neuron okay let us move on to the next slide now let us discuss about neuron so these are very important so it is a <coughs> i already told you it is a structural as well as the functional unit of a nervous system got it so it is highly specialized cell uh, it is mainly important for the transmission of the nerve impulses got it so the neuron consisting of a different parts now let us try to understand what are the different parts which is present in our neuron the first the part is is called cyton or cell body you can see you this soma they have written here right so this particular part is called cyton or cell body so it is uh, it is usually you can see it's looking like a star right it is a star shaped so it has a many hair like structure it is uh, protruding out from out of the margin you can see many hair like structure which is present around this so these hair like structures are called these are called dendrites what we call for this particular part dendrites try to understand about the parts it is very important so dendrites the major function of the dendrites it is helpful to receive the nerve impulses got it so i hope you got it it's about cell body as well as dendrites now let us move on to the next important part that is called axon from here to here this particular part is called axon so this is the tail of the neuron what we can say for this it's a tail of neuron it ends in several hair like structure called axon terminals you can see at the end you can see many terminals which is present these are called uh, it's looking like a root right so these are called axon terminals axon terminals it is helpful to relay the nerve impulses there is a major function of this i hope you got it so it is very important understand about the parts as well as its function let us move on to the next slide now let us discuss about the different types of neuron which is present in our body the first neuron is called sensory neuron so these neuron the major function of this it receive the signals from a sense organs what are the sense organs we have in our body i just think i think it's easy answer right so we have different sense organs in our body like nose eyes ear so this is the skin this is the different sense organs we have so sensory neurons it receive the signals from the messages from the sense organs next is motor neuron these neurons send signals what it will do it will send signals to the muscles or the glands which is present in our body so the next one is association or relay neuron so these neuron it relay the signals between the sensory neuron as well as the motor neuron so that is the major function of these neurons um, now uh, you can see here so these are the different uh, uh, types of uh, neurons which is present in your body so the next part is that is a synapse the point contact between the terminal branch of the axon of neuron with the dendrite of another neuron is called synapse what do you mean by synapse it's a contact from you can see here the contact between the terminal branch of the axon the terminal branch of the axon of one neuron with the dendrite of the another neuron that is what we called as what we call for that that particular thing is called synapse okay so this is called synapse 
so now let us discuss about neuromuscular junction that is nmj it is a point where a muscle fiber comes in contact with a motor neuron carrying nerve impulses from the central nervous system so that is neuromuscular junction we called it as so where what happen here uh, the muscle fibers come in contact with the motor neuron carrying nerve impulses from the central nervous system so that is the major function of these uh, different organs which is present in our nervous system now let us try to understand how these nerve impulses get trans transmission of nerve impulses how does it occur in our body so these nerve nerve impulses travel in the following manner from neuron to the next so from neuron so to the next how it will transfer let us discuss now so from a dendrite these are called what we call for this particular part so these are dendrite got it so from dendrite so from a dendrite uh, to the cell body and later to the axon and nerve ending at the tip of the axon and next to the synapse and finally to the dendrites of next neuron so here what happened the chemicals whatever which is released from the axon tip of one neuron it crosses the synapse of neuromuscular junction to reach the next cell so like this the transmission of the nerve impulses which has taken place in our body got it you can see have a look at these pictures so have a look at this video so you will understand better how the nerve impulses get transmitted from dendrite to the uh, dendrites of next neuron okay let us move on to the next slide so let us discuss about the very important concept that is about human nervous system so human the nervous system in human it can be divided into three different parts the first one is called as you can see here that is central nervous system and the second one is peripheral nervous system and the last one is autonomous nervous system so we're going to discuss in detail later the first one is central nervous system so what is this central nervous system then so it is mainly composed of the brain as well as spinal cord so what we can call for this so it is mainly contain brain as well as spinal cord so this is what we call a central nervous system uh, the brain it control all the functions in the human body we know that right so the what about spinal cord then it works as a relay channel for signal between the brain and the peripheral nervous system it acts as a uh, relay between brain as well as peripheral nervous system so now let us discuss about the peripheral nervous system so what is this peripheral nervous system it is mainly composed of cranial nerves what type of nerves it contain cranial nerves and as well as the spinal nerves got it so usually you can see there are 12 pairs of cranial nerves it's very important please note down there are 12 pairs of cranial nerves the cranial nerves come out of the brain where from where it is coming out it is coming out from the brain and go to the you can see it is mainly coming out from the brain and go to the organ in the head region so that is the um, uh, important thing about this so there are uh, usually 31 pairs of spinal nerves so what about uh, spinal nerves how many spinal nerves are there 31 pairs so these spinal nerves where it is from where it is coming out it is coming out from the spinal cord and go to the organ which are below the head region so from below the head region you can see this so i hope you got it this is regarding the peripheral nervous system and the last one is autonomous nervous system so and the last one is autonomous nervous system so this autonomous system it is composed of chain nerve ganglion uh, nerves chains of nerve ganglion so which run along the spinal cord okay so it contain all the involuntary function in the human body so involuntary uh, what is involuntary function can you give me one example please think and tell me what is involuntary function so i want you to uh, give a answer for this in a comment i am expecting this so it control all the involuntary action in the human body so the autonomous system can be divided into two parts it is mainly divided into two parts so suppose if you not tell the answer i will tell you in the next class what is involuntary as well as voluntary actions okay so let us move on to the next slide now 
now let us discuss about uh, the types of autonomous new, uh, nervous system that is sympathetic nervous system another one is parasympathetic nervous system the first one is sympathetic nervous system so what do you mean by this sympathetic nervous system so usually we can see this is the part of autonomous system so it is helpful to heighten the activity of the organ as per the need for example uh, while uh, during running so you used to run fast right so there is an increased demand of oxygen for our body so who will fulfill then so these sympathetic nerves this is helpful to fulfill that so it is fulfilled by increasing the breathing rate and is also increase the heart rate so that is that is the reason why these sympathetic nervous system work to increase the breathing rate of the heart so in this case uh, these sympathetic nervous system are you highly helpful for us and the second one is parasympathetic nervous system so it is also the part of autonomous nervous system it mainly slow down or the activity of the organ and is also helpful to calming the it is it mainly causes effect like the calming effect so what happened during sleep uh, the activity of the nerves and the organs this has a calming effect during sleep what happened the breathing rate it usually slow down i hope you got it so what happened the heart rate this is the facilitated by parasympathetic nervous system this it is mainly controlled by this parasympathetic nervous system it can be said that the parasympathetic nervous system help in the conservation of energy so that is the these are the two different types of autonomous nervous system now let us discuss about the human nervous system it is divided into i already told you we discussed it's a flow chart for that so have a look at this human nervous system it is central nervous system another one is peripheral nervous system so this central nervous system it contain brain as well as spinal cord this peripheral nervous system it contain autonomous nervous um, sorry it mainly include uh, somatic neural system so this peripheral nervous system it is so another system is called autonomous neural nerve sorry autonomous autonomous nervous system i told you already there are three different types it is central nervous system peripheral nervous system and autonomous nervous system got it so autonomous nervous system it is divided into parasympathetic as well as sympathetic nervous system so i hope you got it please to try to understand better uh, it will be useful for you because simply if you not understand uh, then it is not easy for you to write answers properly in exam try to understand the concept better then it is easy for you to move on okay so thank you i hope you got it whatever the concepts i have I have explained you today so the next class what i am going to teach so please uh let us move on to the next slide now next class i am going to discuss about the very important concept that is about brain that is human brain are you all interested to understand about this yes if you want to understand if you want to learn about this come for our next class and please don't forget to watch my videos please do watch like share and subscribe it might be useful to many students thanks thank you for watching thank you so much